Hey guys, and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video, as you guys can probably already tell from the title, is five things I wish that I had learned before I got my first hamster almost 10 years ago because I believe I first got my hamster in either 2012 or 2013. I literally have had hamsters for almost a decade, which is crazy. Like that's just insane to me to think about. With that being said, I haven't done a talking video in a while and I feel like I just kind of want to do one of these like talking videos with you guys and just sharing my hamster knowledge because I always see a lot of comments saying that you guys are getting hamsters or you know that you're about to get one or like that I've inspired you to get a hamster. By the way, I know that I did say in my last video that I do want to do a video uh, for Rhino's birthday. I'm going to probably do something like that on my Instagram where I will make Rhino some type of little hamster cake or pancakes or something. I'll probably just do like a little post or something. Back to this video. Let's just go ahead and get on to the five things that I wish I had learned before getting a hamster. So the first thing that I wish I had learned before getting my very first hamster is that hamsters are noisy and they will most likely not be able to be kept in your room. Now I know that there's going to be some people in the comments saying, you know, I have my hamster in my room. It doesn't make any noise at all. This and that and this and that. But my personal experience is that hamsters are loud and normally it's just their wheels. Besides from that, they're pretty quiet like during the day because they're sleeping obviously. But at night, there's no way that I would be able to have a hamster in my room, especially if you are a light sleeper. They just run all night and that noise, even if the wheel is completely silent, sometimes you can still hear your hamster's feet running on the actual wheel's surface. And I will put up a clip right now of a post I put on Instagram about a week ago of literally the noise that Rhino and Chandler make combined. It is, it is, it is pretty much impossible for me to have them in my room. I would definitely say if you're looking into getting a hamster, make sure that you have room elsewhere, not necessarily just in your room for your hamster, because you never know if your hamster is going to be noisy or not. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one, and that is that most hamsters are not snuggly or hand hamsters. What I mean by that, it, by hand hamsters, is most hamsters do not like being held or handled. Now, of course, there are going to be those hamsters that love to be held, that love to snuggle, but the majority of them, sadly, do not really like to do that. I personally see stress in both Rhino and a little bit in Chandler, a little bit less in Chandler though, when they are being held in things. You know, some hamsters are very relaxed and they will let you pick them up, handle them, and hold them and all of that. Hamsters are naturally prey animals and if you are looking to get a animal that likes to be held and handled, I don't know if a hamster is necessarily the right animal for you. Now with that being said, with a lot of taming and with a lot of time and effort, you can definitely tame your hamster to be a hand hamster or to be a hamster that likes to be held or at least is less stressed being held. If you guys have watched my taming series, I literally got up at like 6 a.m for like two or three months so that I could try to play with Rhino, so that I could try to tame him into being a hamster that likes to be held and that wasn't stressed being held. And unfortunately, if I'm being quite honest, he is not there. He, I don't think he will ever be there in terms of liking to be held. I do still hold him sometimes and he's, he's okay with it. It's just that I can tell that he would prefer to be in his cage. Although he does like getting treats when he's held. I give him a lot of treats when he's held. So you just have to get a gauge on your hamster. But honestly, the majority of the ones, especially that come from pet stores, are going to be a little timid, especially at first. And if you do want to have that bond with your hamster, it's going to take a lot of time and effort. All right, so the next one is that hamsters need a lot of room and time. Starting with the first part of that, 
The room you need for your hamster is going to be probably a lot more than you anticipated. A hamster is going to need more than just this much space, you know, the space space for a critter trail because those cages are not optimal. You are really going to need to find a spot in your room where you have enough space to put at least like a 40 gallon breeder tank. So somewhere that you'll have a lot of room for not only the cage, but also all of the accessories different toys and chews and everything that you need to keep for your hamster. You really need to have some type of storage area to keep all of those things squared away because if you don't, it'll just, it'll get a little crazy because you do need to have a lot of different things to put in your hamster's cage and all of those things take up space. So definitely make sure that you have that space available if you're gonna get a hamster. And then with the um, time component of that, you just wanna clarify you are not going to need to spend a whole lot of time with your hamster every single day. And what I mean by that is like, you don't need to spend an hour with your hamster every single day. If you wanna do that, if you have time to do that, do that. But the majority of the time, you will just need to handle your hamster, feed your hamster, make sure that they have fresh food, fresh water, cleaning out their sand pit, just kind of spot cleaning, which for me that normally takes about a half an hour to do that for Rhino and Chandler, make sure that they're all good. If they seem in a good mood, I will try to pick them up, try to handle them a little bit. And what I mean by the time, because that doesn't really, that's not a whole lot of time, but it does take a lot of time compounded with how much time it's going to take to clean the wheels out. I have to do that a couple times a week. Uh, clean out the sand pits, clean out the cages entirely, which is about once a month. Um, taking that time to buy all the accessories you will need, everything you to actually get for your hamster, and then doing the research on how to care for your hamster is more time. So make sure that this hamster, that this animal that you are getting, you are thinking about into the future as well. Like, will you have time within the next year to two years of caring for your hamster? Will you have the time to care for it? Because, you know, if you're going off to college the next year and you're not going to have time for your hamster, don't get a hamster. Uh, the next one, I've kind of briefly touched on this throughout this video already, but hamsters cost money, honey money 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 honey honestly if i i have no idea how much all of the hamster stuff that i have right now costs in total but i would definitely say that overall everything that i've got for my hamster has to be over like 500 dollars including all of the toys including all of the cages new and old like the old cages that i have that i don't even use anymore the bins that I have now, wire mesh that I used to do their cage, just everything. Honestly, it's probably more than that because hamster toys and wheels especially can be kind of expensive. So maybe anywhere in the 500 to like 700 to 800 range. I'm not saying that you guys are all going to need to spend that much on your hamster, just putting that out there. The reason why I have spent that much on my hamsters over the years is because I have, number one, had to learn the hard way that, you know, pet store cages are not the way to go, which pet store cages are honestly way more money than they are worth. So that is another thing. Like if you were trying to have a hamster on a budget, which is totally possible don't get those because they're a waste of money there are definitely ways to get around this and i hope to post some type of video in the future about owning a hamster on a budget toys are definitely something that you can pre or that you can make out of things at your house like out of tissue boxes you can make hideouts out of toilet tubes you can make tunnels like an egg carton can turn into like a fun little climbing area you know there are ways that you can definitely make the cost less but with that being said you are still going to need to buy some of the necessities every single month like bedding food probably won't need to buy food every month every couple months there is money that you need to put down so if you are struggling right now maybe you don't have a job or your parents um, are not willing to help you out that is a huge thing if you are a kid and you are trying to get an animal if your ham or if your parents are not willing to help you out pay for it and care for it then i would just say hold off until you have your own money to pay for it and also you have to be able to pay for vet visits if you need them i have had to bring my hamsters to the vet twice in the past 
and those can add up. You know, if you do need to take your hamster to the vet, you wanna make sure that you have the money to do so. And then the last little thing that I wish I had learned before getting my very first hamster is that hamsters can become a bit of an obsession. Okay, like literally, I had no idea when I was in second grade that owning a hamster would become such an obsession for me. I wouldn't say that I'm obsessed, but I like, I love hamsters and caring for them and trying to give them the best possible care I can has definitely almost like, I wouldn't say like taken over my life, that's a bit extreme, but I definitely do think that it's very important. And I've even brought it onto YouTube now, which is the majority of you guys out here watching my videos and stuff. So, and then now I have like this entire section of my house related to hamsters and I have had them for like eight years or nine years actually. I would say that it has taken up a lot of my life, but it's actually brought so much joy and happiness to my life as well. Just keep that in mind, you know, hamsters are a commitment and, but they are a good commitment. Uh, if you have the time and the money and the space for them, they are definitely worth it. Okay, you guys, so that is pretty much it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching and this give you guys a little bit of knowledge going in if you guys are trying to take the plunge to get your first hamster or if you haven't had a hamster in a while and you're just getting a new one or if you already have a hamster and just wanted to watch this video. I hope that you guys liked it. And if you did, make sure to give it a like. Also, click the bell down below if you want to see notifications every single time I upload so that you never miss one and that you were like the first one to get there. I always see comments saying like first and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.